Hello everyone, this is Bakshta Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we continue working with the dress with the raglan sleeves, the princess seams and the round neckline. Last time I showed you how to make a pattern for this dress, and today I'm going to show you how to cut and take it. There are some details which you should pay attention to. This is the fabric I'll be working with. It might remind you of the Chanel style, but this is actually not the Chanel style fabric. I remind you that I'm making a dress for Ira. I decided to make this dress for her because I had her basic pattern at hand. First I'm going to cut the back and the upper and the lower details at the front. When these details are ready, I'll move on to working with the sleeves. Have a look here. These two points should be attached to each other. I've signed them. This is the point 1. The point 1 in this detail should be attached to the point 1 in the other detail. These two points should be also stitched together. These are the points too. Have a look at this angle next. These are the points 3. First we are going to stitch these seams and then this one. This is the checkpoint I've signed in the previous video. These two points should match as well. Let's have a look at the checkpoints. The first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. It's very important to stitch these points accurately. Now you know how to tag and stitch the front details. Let's have a look at the back next. It's very simple. There's just one tuck in it. If the fabric was softer, there would have been no need to make a tuck in it. It would have been enough just to make the curves in these seams. As I've already said, the back detail is very simple. There's just a regular tuck in it. I've also added an extension for a vent here. The dress is going to be long and tight, so the vent should be made for Ira to be able to walk without any problems. Let's have a look at the sleeves next. These are the raglan sleeves with the round seams. This is how the pattern looks like now. Before cutting the seams, I need to make sure that all the details are signed. The back, the back, the front, the front. I also need to sign the grain. In order to draw the grain, I need to drop a perpendicular up from the bottom. The grain. It's very important to sign the grain before cutting the details. Be very attentive and don't make mistakes. This is also the grain. The grain, the upper detail at the back, the lower detail at the back. The grain, the upper detail at the front, the lower detail at the front. We've decided to make the sleeves 20 cm longer. The fabric is pretty strong, so this is not a summer dress. This is why we decided to make them longer. This is the upper front detail of the sleeve. If there was no grain marked in it, how would it be possible to know how to cut it? I need to lay the lower sleeve details here, in order to be able to make them longer. There is enough space here. I'll make them 21 cm longer. Do not forget about the 1 cm extension.
You should also remember about the seam extension on top of these details. When I cut the dress, Ira will help me take it. After that, she'll try the dress on. This is not a mock-up, this is the actual garment. I'm sure that the dress is going to be very beautiful. I can't wait to see Ira wearing it. These details should be laid this way for them to be cut on the grain. Do not forget about it. The details can't be cut this way. They should be cut in the same direction. Be very attentive. Make sure that you cut the details accurately. It's not hard to pin these details because there is also a crossways grain clearly seen in them. Be very attentive. When I pin the details, I'll start cutting them. Next, I need to make the sleeves 21 cm longer. Twenty one centimeter, twenty one centimeter, twenty one centimeter here, I'll also make the sleeves 2 cm wider. Ira can make them tighter if she wants to after a fitting. The sleeves are going to be straight. Even though we're making them longer, we're still going to make the straps in them. I'm going to cut the sleeves first. As I've already said, we'll be able to make them tighter if we want after a fitting. I can start cutting the sleeves now. When they're ready, I'll move on to cutting the front and the back. I don't need to draw this 1 cm seam extensions for cutting. The fabric is kind of striped, so it's better to cut the details on the same level. Have a look here. This is the inner seam of the sleeve. It's very important that you shouldn't add any seam extension to the very angle. Cut this point right along the pattern. Do the same thing with the other detail. That's it. Next I need to cut the upper sleeve details. It's not hard to do it. Just add one centimeter seam extension to each side. The most complicated thing when making such dresses is actually the taking and the stitching. We need to be very careful 
and make sure that all the needed angles and checkpoints match. This design is not new, it's actually pretty old-fashioned. You can see such dresses in the old French movies. These are the front and the back details of the raglan sleeves. Imagine the details were not signed. We would have wasted so much time trying to understand how to cut and tag them. It's not for us to waste time trying to understand how to do this or that. This is why we sign the details. These are the front and the back details of the sleeve. I can move them aside and start cutting the front and the back. First, I need to draw a vent in the back detail. Ira doesn't like high vents. This is how it is going to look like. This is the center back. I also want to add 2 cm seam extension to the center back. I remind you that I'm cutting the back. One centimeter extension here, two centimeter for the side seam. I need to add two centimeters because the fabric is pretty strong. We are going to make the side seams two centimeters wide. If we decide that the dress is too tight, we'll be able to alter the seam after a fitting. The back details are ready. Do not forget to make the checkpoints here in the waistline. Let's move on to cutting the front. I remind you that there will be a seam in the lower front detail. The width of the side seam extension is 2 cm. There is no need for me to draw the 2 cm extension for cutting. You can do it if you need to. One centimeter here. Be very attentive. I remind you that I'm cutting the front. The seam extension in these details should be one centimeter. This is very important. You can make the side, the center front and the center back seams wider. When it comes to cutting these details, the seam should be not more than one centimeter wide. Do not forget to make a notch on the waistline. This is very important. Such tiny details make our work much easier. I also need to make a notch in this angle. You can do it later if you want. I have decided to do it in advance. I need to make this seam a bit tighter. Be very accurate and attentive when cutting. A couple of extra millimeters can make the sewing process much harder. The only detail left to be cut is the upper detail of the front. I like this design because it was not too simple. Complicated designs are very interesting. Do not forget to make the notches on the waistline. If the fabric you are working with doesn't allow making notches in it, make space in seams or the chalk marks. This is very important. This is the side seam, so I need to add the 2 cm extension here. There should also be a notch on the waistline here. This is the raglan detail.
This is the front neckline. I remind you that there will be a fold on the center front in the upper detail. The checkpoint should match. Next, we are going to tag the dress. Ira is going to help me do it. We'll show you what to pay attention to and how to make the checkpoints match. We are going to do it in the next video. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Štirina. Thank you. Goodbye.